listening activity 2 a legend is a traditional story about a famous person or hero statues don't talk would you be surprised if you saw a statue talking like anyone else listen to the story of pygmalion the legend of pygmalion pygmalion was the king of cyprus he was a sculptor who created beautiful statues out of stone and ivory one day he made an extremely beautiful statue of a woman so great was the beauty of this piece that pygmalion fell madly in love with it day after day hour after hour pygmalion wished that his stone figure would come to life at last the wish was granted by venus the goddess of love and beauty in greek mythology did the miracle make pygmalion happy when pygmalion had finished the statue he smiled it was the innocent smile of a child at having found something new and unique of course the piece of sculpture was perfect almost unsurpassable so greatly was he impressed by the beauty of the statue that he felt like falling on his knees in the posture of worship although his studio was full of a number of stone creations he realized that he had never done anything like that before in fact he had created a masterpiece he named this beauty galato evening came and pygmalion still sat in his studio looking at the beautiful galato in the fading light he had no desire to move away instead he climbed up the pedestal and gave the stone lips of the statue a kiss wishing it alive he soon realized the stupidity of this act and lowered his eyes in shame and lo the eyes blinked and the miracle took place galato came to life in the arms of pygmalion venus the goddess of love had granted the artist's wish galato did not speak she smiled with an expression of astonishment upon her radiant face like a child she stretched out a hand to touch pygmalion's hair as she parted the dark locks she laughed it was a clear laugh he spoke a few words and for the first time the smooth forehead wrinkled in an effort to understand galato was soon asleep because moving life is more tiring than a motionless masterpiece of sculpture in flesh and blood she did not look a goddess but a sad thing seeking the shelter of love all night pygmalion kept watch over this tender life next morning when she woke up she did not speak pygmalion took up the role of a teacher and guide standing she always looked like a goddess and pygmalion felt so proud for he could create like god in flesh and blood or so he thought for some time he lived with galato almost happy as time passed signs of age and weariness started showing in galato's appearance 
This made Pygmalion very unhappy. For like the true artist that he was, he believed that beautiful creations must remain permanent. He was afraid that his beautiful creation would eventually grow old and perish. And he did not like this idea. Galato also seemed tired of life. For the pain and suffering of living was a bit too much for her to bear. She used to compare herself with the marble statues in the studio. She realized that stone that knows neither grief nor age was permanent. And she wished to die. Pygmalion foresaw her inevitable fate. And when night came, he took his chisel and struck her bosom a blow. He saw a second miracle. Galato was returning to the original marble. All that night, he chiseled in an effort to give a new shape to the stone. Next morning, what he saw in the daylight was something quite different compared to the original. The lips had lost their great beauty. The eyes told of the grief of living. The whole body was bent towards the earth. In brief, the whole night, in the dark, he had been sculpting the very face of grief. And Pygmalion wept. <laughs> 